Hello, good morning. It's beautiful to be in Banrat, St. Andrews, 35 years after my priesthood. I was first uh, years ago in uh, 1987. Oh, that's a very long, long time. time. Um, you've been back after 30 plus years. Plus years. What is the most striking change about St. Andrew's Church? St. Andrew's Church, I find it very vibrant. It still does the same, but I find a few uh, citizens who, who I knew then uh, moved out. If you could tell us about your background. As I finished my SSC, I was in uh, St. Mary's School. I did my college at Casey College and part time I used to attend St. Xavier's. After that, after I graduated, I joined the seminary. It was just a matter of fact, we were going on an outing and I happened to visit the seminary. The seminary fathers then they asked me, would you uh, spend a few months? And so my vocation grew in a matter of fact. Yes. Why did you want to join the diocese? I uh, joined the diocese mainly because the uh, diocese has a lot of uh, openings to do, do pastoral work. If you join any order, you have to toe the, the line. No? You have to do especially that. For instance, the Jesuits are educationalists then the Dom Dominicans are many preachers and so on. So I told I joined the diocese because they have an opening in all spheres. In fact, you, my mentor, Father Marty, was a bit sad when I joined. He thought I would join uh, the Jesuits. <laughs> it has been how many years since you are a priest? It's 36 years, 36 years. Okay. Do you have any best memory uh, from your priesthood? The best memory for the priesthood was when as a priest, I was sent to the mission. Suddenly, Cardinal Ivan called me and said you have to go to the missions and asked him where. And he said at Karchat. And I was a bit uh, shocked. The shrine of Fatima was closed. So he said, I want you to open the, the shrine and, and every day we used to have the mass over there. So that was an experience in my life. I was the only priest there and there were about 200 families, which uh, is quite large, a small little church. And there were umpteen problems, but uh, somehow the good Lord did help, help me. You know, Mother Mary did come to my aid. So I have a strong faith in our, in our, in our Lady because, and, uh, and Jesus because very often people tell me that they find it difficult to relate towards God. But I say, no, I cannot be what, what you say because I had experience. Do you know the life of in a, a mission? <laughs> and you see for yourself, <laughs> our Sunday collection was 150 rupees. And with that, I learned to survive. I'm, I'm 36 years old. With 150 rupees, only uh, means about yeah, nothing for the full month. You know, yeah. So that's uh, something beautiful. Yeah. And what was the most challenging part of it? The most challenging part of this was I somebody inspired me, told me I'm going to build a road in front of the church. I said, how can you do do that? I went and checked the DP plan with the municipal cooperator there and it was yes, it was true that the road was, was passed. I worked towards it and I built a compound wall which cost me about 22 lakhs. That was a challenge thing. For where did the money come? Oh, it was God sent. I can tell tell you God sent, but it was my own friends who helped me to do the work. So it was really a beautiful experience, yeah. And now that you're at St. Andrew's Church, yes. what are some of the cells and associations in your portfolio? I am associated with the Bombay Catholic Sabha, with the family cell. This is a, a really a challenging job. I do feel that family cell is one of the important cells of the uh, church. And what is that one thing that you would like to achieve in this parish? 
this family is the VCCS and the family cell are uh, mainly that we should grow in faith. So I do feel that we Christians have to have that basic deposit of, of our faith. The deposits of faith consists of three parts. Yeah, being true to the magisterium, true to the teachings of the church, true to the sacraments. That is what we have to practice, every Christian has to practice in his life. And I feel that is very important. So that is what I want to impart. Besides that, the word of God, the, the Bible, it should be read in every home. I feel it's very important in our lives. Mother, we'll have a rapid fire round. Fire, now. yes, yeah. Um, what is your favorite saint? My favorite saint is Saint Francis Xavier, because I feel him a very uh, sporting person. Yeah, the thing you can imagine as a young boy or a young missionary, he left Spain, traveled for a year, and reached Goa's shores. No, it was a really wonderful job, you know, that he did, traveling for so many months and reaching Goa and preaching the the karima. So that was very important. Yeah. Your favorite okay. sport? My favorite sport is, of course, football. <laughs> yeah, we all love football. Yeah, and uh, we are fans of foot football. I remember in as my younger days, we used to play football, and we we had a beautiful ground in Belapala, the school, and uh, it was quite late. But once the Angelus bell rang, we had to stop here. <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a very uh, disturbing fact. But uh, in fact, we we learned the, the system. Favorite musical yeah. band. The musical band I don't remember, but I loved. Uh, the father Anceto's and the stop gaps. You know, the stop gaps in my days were doing a wonderful job, you know. And Father J.B. Fernandez, I admire J.B. Fernandez. Yeah, he used to do all the latest uh, hymns and the uh, latest uh, songs uh, he used to play. In, that was something one, wonderful, you know, the stop gap groups. What is the toughest part of being a priest? The toughest part of being a priest is to be adaptable and sometimes you do not understand, the people do not understand you, what is the motive that you are doing things, you know, and uh, it is sometimes a yeah, uh, very wrong uh, perception they have in their mind. i give you an, an uh, example, in Majiwada, before any feast, we had a uh, ashes group. There was a point of time when the ushers were uh, had met you know, and met, you know, and they had planned a full uh, system. And it was just before uh, Christmas on in 2021. Uh, they organized the cake. They organized everything, and somebody else comes and takes over the, the system. And before, just two minutes before the celebration of the mass, the midnight mass, yeah, they came and informed me that somebody else is coming away. So I said, bring him here. And I explained to, to him, I said, this is wrong. But he wouldn't understand. He felt it was an insult for, to, to, for that person to be brought to, to, to me. And to make him understand was very difficult. I said, anyhow, you continue. I cannot do them. We are about to begin the, the mass. And he took that as a personal offense. He took that as a personal offense for him. He reported that to the cardinal. And it created a very bad scene and a very uh, bad uh, 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 correspondence of le le letters after that, you know. Yeah. Father, if you are not a priest, what would you be? I prefer to be a person working in the bank because being a person constantly in touch with the other person was always my motive in my mind. And being a person of the, the bank was I love maths, I love accounts. 
So it was beautiful to be a person always in touch with the other per person to some system. That is what I would do. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, Amazing. Uh, I wouldn't have expected it. Yes. But uh, thank you so much for opening up your life to us, to the professionals in Andrews, and we'll pray for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay.